I first heard of Atelier Wen sometime in 2019, and the porcelain Odyssey How caught my eye with its beautiful blue and white dial. I quickly learned of the very interesting story on how these watches came to being and have added a link to the Watch You Seek thread of their entire journey in my review. The objective was to design and build a watch that drew influence from European watchmaking while creating a watch that is proudly Chinese, both in design aesthetic and manufacturing. The way I see it, the Atelier Wen watches are their way of telling the world that the narrow-minded and negative opinions towards Chinese-made watches belongs in the past. Without exaggeration, I will say that this $700 watch can give a $1,000 Seiko Presage a run for its money, and most Swiss-made watches in that price range as well. Even more impressive is the level of transparency that this brand has chosen to adopt. Each watch ships with a booklet that details every component of the watch and where it was sourced from. I've got with me the Porcelain Odyssey G model with the full blue dial. The Japanese stainless steel case is among the few components that aren't completely sourced from within China. The raw materials are imported from Japan, but the case is set to be manufactured in China with an even mirror polish across the entire case, except for the vertical brushed lug surfaces. The case is contemporary in design with subtle angular accents while still remaining true to its dress watch identity. The case is 39 millimeters in diameter, 11.7 millimeters tall, and has a lug to lug width of 47 millimeters. It weighs 85 grams with the leather strap and overall fits perfectly in the comfortable dress watch category. The signed crown is 6.5 millimeters in diameter and just under 3.5 millimeters wide. The case back is a different story. On the solid case back, there is an embossed Kunpeng, a Chinese mythical beast that transitions between its form of a fish to that of a bird. At the $700 price tag, this is beyond impressive, and while it is a machine embossing, it looks like a three-dimensional hand carving. The crown and case back do not screw down, and the watch is rated for up to 50 meters of water resistance. Considering this is a dress watch, this isn't unreasonable. However, it would have put more minds at ease if this watch was rated up to at least 100 meters. The porcelain dial is made of zirconium oxide, heated to 1400 degrees Celsius, and applied to a copper plate. This is stronger than typical ceramics and more robust to crack propagation. The ceramic is typically used in small quantities such as dental crowns and bridges and in some electrical appliances because of how expensive it is. This material is not new to the watch industry and is used to make ceramic cases and dials for IWC, Panerai and Omega. If you look at recent Omega watches, you'll see ZRO2 etched onto the dial to indicate their use of this particular ceramic. The finishing on this particular layer is excellent and I couldn't find any blemishes or surface anomalies. The finishing is highly glossy which makes it very difficult to photograph but looks absolutely stunning in person. If you see any particles on the dial, this is just a reflection of the shiny indices or just dust particles on the glass. The actual dial surface has no dust particles that I could find which is particularly impressive for a $700 watch. If you're still skeptical about good Chinese quality control, this watch and the Traska Freediver, both quality control in China, have been meticulously clean and better than most watches I've reviewed so far. From a layout perspective, there is a small seconds hand at 6 o'clock and central hour and minute hands. The indices are polished dots and baton markers. The hands are rhodium plated and finished really well. I couldn't find rough edges or dirt on the hands as one usually does in watches of this price. The minute track is an adaptation of the Chinese Hui Win pattern and is said to also pay homage to Western railway style minute tracks. In terms of design, this white pattern looks wonderful against the blue dial and gives the dial much character. However, in terms of legibility, this takes a few hours to get used to since consecutive minute markers alternate between either side of the pattern track. The subdial is standard to small seconds hand watches but has beautifully printed Chinese characters at the four primary axes. Once again, in terms of design, this is perfectly executed and looks beautifully printed even under macro lens scrutiny, but in terms of legibility and seconds hand tracking, the lack of finer demarcations makes it a bit challenging to track the seconds hand accurately. But let's not forget that this is a dress watch and not a high accuracy timekeeping instrument. Not surprising is the fact that Atelier Wen have opted to go with the Chinese movement. However, as with all their other choices, they picked a very good movement and not a typical entry level Chinese one. This is a modified Peacock Caliber SL3006. It is a clone of the ETA 2824. However, this particular movement has been modified to support the small seconds design, as well as perlage finished with Geneva stripes on the rotor. 
Additionally, the ghost date position has also been removed. This movement has been rated for plus or minus 10 seconds per day and is adjusted to 5 positions by their assembly and quality control partner. The crown and stem construction is very stable and there is no crown or stem wobble. I logged the accuracy of this watch over a 4 day period and observed an average accuracy of minus 0.5 seconds per day with a maximum variance between plus and minus 8 seconds per day, all within acceptable ranges. The roughly 39 by 47 by 12 mm dimensions make for a comfortable wrist experience. I have no complaints about any of these dimensions and you can see it here on my 6 and a quarter inch wrist. These watches ship with a very good quality leather strap and they provide a few alternate strap options that can be purchased separately. The inner surface of the buckle is stamped with the brand's logo and name and has a combination of polished and brushed surfaces. If there was one design element for me to complain about, it would be the size of the buckle. It appears to be a bit too large at almost 23.5 mm at its widest point. The rest of the dimensions are fine and the quality and color of the straps make it easy to overlook this. To wrap things up, unless you dislike the design, there's no good reason to not buy one of these watches. You're unlikely to find another porcelain or ceramic dial watch for this price. There are a few offerings from Seiko and Anordain for porcelain, ceramic and enamel dials, but you'll quickly see that at $700, this offering from Atelier Wen is hard to refuse. Apart from disliking the design, the only other reason I could see for avoiding this watch is the fact that it is made in China. But I hope from the above dissection of all the watch's elements, I have made an argument for why that kind of thinking is dated. This watch is a testament to the fact that if you are willing to look beyond the $100 to $200 worth of cheaply made watches, a well-made Chinese watch is fully capable of holding its ground against Japanese and Swiss competitors. Atelier Wen has put a significant amount of effort in chasing down these quality components from all across China, and what they have managed to build is a watch that is proudly Chinese. I urge you to give this watch a chance because you will be impressed, just as I am. For those worried about how this watch will stand the test of time, I have no answer for you yet, but Atelier Wen stands behind their 30-day return policy and their two-year manufacturing warranty. This should cover any issues you may potentially face with this movement. And given that this is an ETA 2824 clone, I assume it should be fairly easy to service even after your warranty expires. According to Atelier, only 250 models of the G were made and 250 of the How. They don't plan on making any more of these watches, so if you're after something unique, owning one of these 570 watches might be appealing to you. Once again, thanks for watching and be sure to read the full review in the link below.